Hey guys there, Soft Tech here and welcome back. In this video, we're, we're going to be talking about cutoff lever and trigger trolley problems, specifically why your trigger might get stuck or make an odd clicking sound on semi-auto. We're going to be talking about what is going on when this happens, how you can kind of really quickly resolve it, and then also how you can go about truly fixing the problem. So without wasting any more time, let's bring the camera over to the bench here and pull out an apparatus uh, to explain what I am talking about here. So just to reiterate the problem that we'll be talking about today, uh, simply what happens is your gun is in semi-auto, you have a mechanical kind of trigger setup like this where you have a cutoff lever, a cutoff lever spring, trigger trolley, trigger contact setup, very similar to this. And you know, the most advanced thing you have in the setup is probably a MOSFET. Um, you don't have to, it could be just you know, regular black and, uh, black and red wires, uh, the very simple setup that most AEGs come with. Um, but regardless, you have this kind of setup, you're in semi-auto, and you pull the trigger and you get an odd clicking sound. Let's see if I can replicate that, I probably won't be able to now. Well, there it is right there. Now, what is this problem? What, what is happening here? Again, you saw what happened there. I pulled the trigger and the trolley did not connect with the trigger contacts and just kind of latched on off and it created that clicking sound. And again, this kind of thing really, this specific problem only occurs in semi-auto. So before we go any further in trying to solve the problem, let's kind of take a step back and understand how this setup works. So your sector gear has a small little cam on the bottom of it and you have a cutoff lever here as well with a selector plate behind it and a, and a spring behind it that kind of helps push up against the uh, cutoff lever to allow for semi-auto and, uh, and automatic uh, differentiation in the gearbox uh, as it functions. And then you have a trigger here with a trigger spring underneath of it that allows the you know backlash to occur and, and allows the trigger to kind of reset as well. And then you have these trigger contacts right here with a trolley here on a little track. And then your trigger when you pull it makes connection with the trigger contacts which is through some wiring connected to your battery and your motor and then your gun cycles your cutoff lever or your, your gun cycles if i can get it in there now your gun cycles again and your sector gear knocks the cutoff lever which knocks the trigger trolley off of the contacts and boom you have a semi-auto cycle now what we are dealing with specifically in this problem is when your sector gear is your gearbox is at rest, your sector gear is at rest in a way that the cutoff lever is about halfway engaged, meaning that when you pull the trigger, your trolley runs in to that cutoff lever and automatically knocks the trolley off of the tracks, preventing you from making contact with the trigger contacts. Now, what is the solution to this problem? Now, if it's occurring to you very frequently, that's kind of odd. Um, usually it only occurs you know, very, very seldom um, because it requires the gearbox to come to a rest at a very specific point in order for this to occur. Uh, so if it occurs to you one time, just flip your gun over to full auto, which will remove the cutoff lever from the equation entirely and allow you to cycle your gun to a new resting point so that you can go back to semi-auto firing. Now that's a quick and cheap fix that works not like all the time. But if again, if this problem is happening to you very frequently, then the solution is a little bit different. Uh, you actually need to get in there and figure out, okay, is my cutoff lever just really worn down? Is my, you know, is there something wrong with my cutoff lever cam on my sector gear? Or is my trigger trolley, you know, uh, worn out? Or is, this the, yeah, is the trigger trolley worn out itself? There's a little latch on the side of the trigger trolley that allows it to make contact with the cutoff lever when it swings up by the force of the sector gear. If that piece is worn out, which they do become worn out uh, over very long amounts of time usually, um, and very aggressive semi-auto play, then the solution might simply be just to replace that and boom, you're done. Um, but that is the problem and that is, those are the potential solutions. Now, again, if this happens to you, just simply flip your gun over to full auto, fire a real quick burst, and then hopefully your sector gear will you know, come to a new resting point that it does not engage the cutoff lever halfway. Now, do not continue to try to overcome that resistance and get your trigger contacts to meet in semi-auto because it's not going to happen. If you keep trying to pull that trigger, what will end up happening is you're going to wear out that uh, trigger trolley little catch that 
engages with the cutoff lever. So people that will continually try to overcome it and you know get a cycle out in semi-auto and try to try to beat this clicking noise will end up finding out that uh, what is actually happening is that you're destroying that little latch on your trigger trolley setup. Um, so really just flip over to full auto real quick, fire a quick burst, and then it should be fixed. But again, if the problem continues, then you're gonna have to look into your cutoff lever, potentially your trigger trolley. Um, I almost guarantee 100% that those one of those two little parts is your problem. All right, so there's the problem, and there are the couple of solutions that I can offer you. Um, again, the first one's a really quick fix, works almost every single time, but again, if it continually happens to you, then you're probably gonna have to dive into your gearbox and figure out exactly what the problem is. All right, that's all I've got for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and if you don't mind, please like this video, comment down below, tell me what you think of this very simple and short video, and also please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Airsoft tech-themed content. But like I said, guys, that's gonna have to do it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video of whatever the heck I'm doing next. But until then, stay tuned, techs.